Better set up the timer to guarantee an escape route. The water is tickling me. I like it. Come on, let's get back to the van and get out of here. I don't like these kind of days. You're telling me, if I find out who pried my van open, ugh. Remember your heart condition, boss. You're right. Let's just think about delivering everything and forget today, okay? Are you ready for the new house? I haven't even thought about it, actually. I just want to talk to Ronald as soon as possible. Why all this rush? Sorry, but I wasn't paying any attention earlier. I was too busy with my nuts. Basically, according to otherworldly laws, the perpetrators of a blood sin will be condemned to eternal damnation when they die. But Ronald's was an accident. That doesn't change anything. It's irrelevant. The only way to prevent this from happening is to confess his crime to someone else. Within five years. And how much time does he have left exactly? Three days. And you're just thinking about it now? I didn't want to overwhelm him. I wanted to give him his space. I really have no words. Ugh, damn spoiled brats. Hey boy, is everything okay? Tell me, that fall cut out your tongue? N no sir Isn't it too early to wear your costume? It's only afternoon. Um, what? You probably hit your head too hard on the ground. It's Halloween today. Otherwise, why would you wear that stupid skeleton costume? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, for Halloween, obviously. Bah. Try not to make too much trouble while you're still around. Capiche? Brats. Where the hell am I? Did someone throw my wardrobe in a dump? Okay, calm down. I know the address of Ronald's new house. The problem is getting the wardrobe over there. The real luck is that he was there to soften the fall. Cats never stop giving you good reasons to love them.
Then how should I do that, exactly, genius? I can't believe someone threw away my wardrobe! Unless those cold cuts were used as bait for pterodactyls, this setup makes no sense at all. <laughs> Yuck! Well, judging from the stink, it's obvious they've been here at least since the Jurassic. It's incredible how many crazy things you can find in a dump. Nothing different than what it seems. It's a battery. Ah, the Cynic. I've heard them before. Maybe in my second life. Well, I mean in, in the third. King Kong smoking a pipe, sitting triumphantly over Godzilla, probably defeated single-handedly, and with a death note in his hands. The amount of epicness on this float is impossible to calculate. I'd like to honor you by pounding my chest, but I'll get no more than a xylophone sonata. I should really take it, just so I'd have something to leave on your windshield. Slenderman. Slenderman everywhere. A rather unusual place for a hydrant. Yes, sure. I'd like to see you do that in my shoes, you stupid scrawny hulk. No way, it's closed. And I can imagine who has the keys. It seems to be a map of the area. Hey, we're, we're by the sea. That van went a long way. This isn't the first time you've tried to make me rummage through the rubbish. What strange perversions you have. Waste, waste, and waste again. Hey, wait a minute. Seems Santa Claus came early this year. Judging from this sign, I'm sure I'll be welcome. Hey boy, you finally woke up. You know you could have broken your neck. This is not a fun fair. That shrill voice makes my skin crawl. I mean, my bones. Don't provoke me or I will even louder! No, 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 please be quiet. What's wrong with you? How would you feel if your roots were torn from the ground? Technically, I've had the life torn from my body, but I'm not making all this fuss like you. What's wrong with you? How would you feel? Technically, I've had... Damn it, Naughty Dog, would you finally start developing a new Crash Bandicoot? And no, remastered doesn't count. Budabaga! Bonaparte! Bodyguard! Yes, well... Your mother! You could've just said that in the first place. Dinsdale certainly has the best mascot in the world. Chompy Chompy on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Apart from you, obviously. From what I understand, this can be used for satanic rituals, even to conjure demons. Hope I'm not wrong. Do you really want me to talk to a picture painted on the floor? When you cross the street, do you ask permission of the zebra crossing? 
<laughs> Clowns and their abundant sympathy. Do I look desperate? I would have liked to see you deal with this Horcrux if it were an Okia 3310, my dear Porter. Seven books and eight movies didn't teach you anything? I hope this is just Sangria. I may not have to worry about catching herpes anymore, but I'm still not drinking from the straw of a stranger. These must be the crane keys. How? Using telekinesis? With four available actions, you really think this is the best choice? Better not cause any disasters around here. Who are you talking to? The player on the other side of the screen, mister? Player? Screen? That fall must have been worse than I thought. How did I get here, precisely? How the hell am I supposed to know? Uh, um, no, I meant, who brought that purple wardrobe here? Wardrobe? I thought it was a coffin. Two guys from a moving company with a white van full of old junk. Old junk? I need that wardrobe. I don't live in this waste for fun. If you want something, you must pay. But I have no money. How much do you want, exactly? Let's settle it this way. As an exception, if you pay the crane costs, you can take the wardrobe. What if I use the crane myself, without bothering you? And what if I use these boots to kick your ass? Thanks for helping me. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not interested at all in your health. I just wanted to be sure a dead brat doesn't get in my way. Then you shouldn't even be talking to me. Did you say something? Ah, forget it. Post-traumatic ramblings. I see you love black magic. Are you some sort of wizard? I don't like that tone. Black magic is neither shallow nor vapid. It's real art. Of course. I didn't think for a moment it wasn't. And do you ever wear the pointy hat with the little stars? <laughs> At the birthday parties. Well, aren't you tall, eh? My grandpa put steroids in my baby food when I was a kid. Okay, this time I really put my foot in my mouth. Hey, I meant what I said. I better go. See you around. Don't get into any more trouble. Uh, better wait until it gets dark, when everyone will be in costume. All clear. Wow! An American party! Maybe you might want to get the mail from time to time. This is a great garden decoration. Much better than the gnomes. The level of debauchery these parties reach is unparalleled. They could at least put the cups on a table. I would have never expected to see Pinhead with heart-shaped boxers. Let's see. I could sing him a lullaby. Lullaby, lullaby, you. Who will I give this baby to? 
I'll give it to Santa Claus and he will drink it in his house. I'll give it to the old witch and she will fall into a ditch. Everyone knows she can't handle her drink. I'll give it to a complete fool and he will slip into the pool. I'll drink it with my stupid friend and all our money we will spend. Happy alcoholic dreams, little star. My job here is done. He doesn't exactly seem like a smart guy. Hey, flee! Don't make me angry or I'll beat you up and make you regret being born! Bullying tendencies and a clear deficiency in basic language skills. Another point for Skinny! What do you want? Why are you so angry? Upstairs is clothes! And we can't do hanky-panky with my blondie girlfriend upstairs! Given the circumstances, I'll volunteer myself as interpreter. The room on the upper floor is closed, so my girlfriend and I can't find a place where we can have a little alone time. The second upstairs is redundant. How come the door is closed? Dead stupid Johnny Blonde is there with his brunette whore! That unintelligent blonde man Johnny has shut himself in the room with that morally loose, dark-haired girl. She must be quite famous around here. Bad story, yep. Listen, since you can't go up there, why don't you give me a hand getting a wardrobe from the dump? Bite me! Tasty refusal. What if I find a way to clear the room? Why not? I suppose in this case, I can accept. Okay, don't move and don't abuse that girl while I'm gone. I'm not drinking booze. Yeah, nice. No booze. I better go now. In Oriental mythology, the dragon is a symbol of balance and wisdom. But not even a talisman this size could make up for your stupidity. Unfortunately for me... Shenron, revive Krillin! Don't get smart with me. I didn't think you could talk. I'm a Suko Megami, a thousand-year-old object, so I've received a soul as a gift. A Tsuku... what? You can just call me Suko. Are you some sort of carousel karaoke or what? I'm a music box, to be precise. Passed down through generation to generation in the Chinese imperial family. It seems this tradition didn't last long after all. Well, I wouldn't say that, since the man on your right is the firstborn of the emperor. Can you sing me something? I know a song you might like. Um, I do not doubt your vocal skills, but actually I'm more of a metal guy. A death metal guy. Do I look like someone who could sing something like that with these clothes on? I have to go. Zaijin. It says birthday cake. I don't know what I expected, but I'm disappointed. Wait a minute. Since when do I speak Chinese? You've been a very bad boy. No birthday cake for you. It was probably thrown by an amateur hitman. With serious sight problems. It's too high. I can't reach it. I hate ideograms. I suppose it's the first thing Chinese students learn to write. I don't think this kind of thing has any purpose besides decoration. That is the strangest form of meditation I've ever seen. Uh, excuse me? <clears throat> Mister? 
I don't want to bother you, but... Damn it, old man! I am talking to you! Your approach is ill-suited for a civil discussion between adults. You're right. I went too far. I forgive you. Don't you think you're a bit too old to live in a treehouse? Verily. I have dwelled here for sixty-three very long years. Oh, sorry. I had no idea. Be not ashamed, boy. I forgive you. How come you made this life choice? Modern society did not befit me. The decay of values, the rotten logic of capitalism, wars generated by the interests of politicians, the inept or mind-washed public. Yet I am sure mankind has learned from such foolhardy mistakes over the decades. You'd be surprised. Are you really sewing your beard? Incorrect, boy. I am knitting it. Why would you want to do something like that? I produce eco-clothing for important fashion brands. What about that story of how modern society doesn't suit you? When one's moral beliefs undermine personal interests, send them to hell. I don't understand this obsession you have with saying I forgive you. You must be a person of unsurpassed goodness. In truth, I am not, boy. When I was a mere lad, I was besought to play a priest for school theater. People rushed from all the neighboring towns to grace us with their presence. Everything proceeded perfectly, and I felt the pride swell in my then tiny body, covered in a black robe. But alas, during the third act, the confessional collapsed upon me and hurt my head. People were greatly dismayed when they saw the little minister on the ground, senseless. I hung betwixt life and death for two whole days, and then I awoke. Ever since, I cannot resist uttering, I forgive you all the time. Uh, yes. Very interesting. I'm a terrible boy. Could you please forgive me? You are indeed, boy.